If you've been following this series, then you might remember week two, where we talked about topic clusters. Topic clusters include pillar content, an overview with a broad topic, and supporting content, more narrowly focused, detailed content to support the topic. This week, we'll assume you've not only identified your blog's topic clusters, but that you've also written them, and we'll discuss how hub pages reinforce those clusters. Welcome to episode nine of this series titled 25 Things I Do to Grow My Blogging Business. We're talking hub pages here in pillar two, the SEO pillar. I'm Leslie Peterson and I help bloggers grow their business consistently and with a plan. If you find this video helpful, I hope you'll subscribe. Now the term hub generally suggests a central point that connects to many other points, hub and spoke, right? In SEO, a hub plays a very similar role. While support pages add structure to your topic cluster, hub pages add structure to your pillar posts. Hub pages are generally image focused and most importantly, they reinforce your topical authority and improve interlinking. And that improves your site's architecture and ranking ability. Google's algorithm tends to favor websites that demonstrate a clear logical structure where high quality content is interlinked in a way that benefits the user experience and hub pages reinforce those efforts. Now, the number one question I get when talking about hub pages is this, don't I already have this with a category page? My answer is no, not usually. In fact, I've only ever met one other blogger who transitioned their category pages effectively. In fact, I recommend unindexing your category pages and using hub pages instead. You're probably like, ah, why would I do that? Well, a category page has no structure except time. Time doesn't benefit your reader or reinforce your architecture. There's no ability to format your category pages, especially when a different category requires different formatting because you have one inf more information on one topic than another. There is potential for duplicate content issues, pagination issues, readability issues. That's just the beginning. So here are five tips to get you started on your hub page journey. Number one, include relevant headings to make it really clear to your reader what you're offering. Number two, keep a consistent image focused design, make it clean and not too complicated. Number three, be thoughtful about the text and the headings and the descriptions because with an image focused design, this text matters more than ever. Next, answer questions like how, what, where, why. And finally, don't forget that repurposing blog amounts in small amounts is a-okay. If you have a hub page for your topic cluster, I would love to see it. Don't be shy about linking it below.